I've got this in the mail yesterday from Pico Technology. Uh, it is a USB thermocouple data logger. Extremely reliable. I used many of these in the lab. Cable. The logger. And the user's manual, but I don't need that. This thing used to be uh, 360 euros and I got it for 460 euros. It went up. All prices, guys, went up. Yeah. It's all so light. Yeah, it's very light, but super expensive. Uh, it doesn't come with any probes. Have to get your own. And I also got this from Galax 4060 Ti. And what I'm going to show you today, I want to take some measurements, some plain temperature uh, measurements, a logging. So let's hook it up and see. Okay, uh, the lab in my office is like a war zone, I know that, because we're going to move again second time uh, in six months i hate you <laughs> and not only the lab the home too i hate you twice so i connect this stuff to my pc usb thingy okay now let's see if it is long enough. Say that I want to take some temperature readings from the card. Do you want to come from here? It's easier, I think. Oh, okay. It has eight channels. So it needs some pressure. I'm going to install the probes on channel one and two. There it is. You will find everything in my office. Literally everything. From keys, from glasses. What do you want me to measure? Tell me. Uh, you said it measures temperature? Yes. So the temperature that comes out of the card, probably? Okay. I'll put one probe here. Okay. Yeah. And now I need something. Let's say that I also want to measure CPU, uh, heatsink. CPU heating output. Okay, put it here. Okay. It can take up to eight probes. I only used two now. So let's open the application. So this is the most accurate. It is highly gadget. accurate. Yeah, it's okay. highly accurate. It's not a gadget. It's this a is machine, a lab. A this lab is machine. a lab uh, great tool. Okay. Instrument. So you can calibrate it as well? Yeah. Okay. This is the application. Uh, I also write my own code for this. Uh, the good thing with expensive temperature loggers is that they provide you the communications protocol. This means that you can write your own application and uh, have it connected to your application. You don't need to use uh, the software that they provide. That said, the provided software is very good. So, I have the first channel is GPU heating. Okay. One sample uh, per uh, second. You can have, if you want, one sample per millisecond. This is as fast as uh, the Powernetics. 1000 readings per second. Okay, one uh, sample per second is enough add channel now 
the second channel CPU heating okay again uh, one sub per second type K thermocouple yes at the channel here are the temperatures of this system any you can show this system and the screen yeah. the monitor okay let's start some tests okay let's do prime and fermac at the same time yeah i know it's tough okay cpu stress fermac and prime so Check the temperatures here. GPU heating is dropping. Why? Because the fans start to operate. During idle, uh, the GPU's fans were not spinning. You want to see uh, something. A graph. Local capture. Continuous. Start. Now I started logging all temperature data. And if I run, if I want to see the graphs, here they are. As simple as that. Easy, eh? GPU heating here, CPU heating. And uh, you will notice that, okay, this goes up and down all the time. CPU. Yes, because uh, the card doesn't get stressed enough, probably. I want to see more though. What is going on? Over there. So let's connect and check on Powernetics. What is going on? And you can look here for. Isn't it the same screen here? Yeah, it is. It's better here. Hmm, okay. So, uh, Powernetics, open. Only 250. Let's do it for 1000. Start. And we have Powernetics connected. Okay, I need to fix that. Yeah. So, Yes, the load is not that high at the car. Uh, the maximum load of the car is 124 watt. Yeah, that's not much. And the average about 106.5 watt. Yeah, that's too low. On the processor, let's see the processor. Only 92 watt maximum yeah that's nothing i have an amd uh, 7800 xtd processor there mm -hmm. very low power consumption the 46 ti is also very low the total power of the system 260 watt maximum let's make that larger for you is that better yeah okay change that ah come on so guys, uh, you saw temperature logger in action, how we measure uh, temperatures. If we want something better than the, what the software readings mention, and you also saw Powernetics. I'm starting the review of uh, this 4060 Ti right now, it will take some days unfortunately uh, I need to find uh, an automation on how to run all games and tests without any supervision without babysitting this would be ideal but it will be tough and if you have any questions just leave a comment I'm planning on doing some videos on how we do stuff behind the scenes guys because you only see the final review 
you read the final review, you see the video, you watch a 15, 20, 30 minutes video, but you don't see what is going on behind the scenes. All the work we do uh, to offer you this 30 minutes of video. Or Experimentation. This, all, all the 30 pages in, uh, on hwbusters.com of the review. So I decided to shoot uh, videos like this one uh, to get the feeling of what is going on. See the instruments we use, uh, how you use them, what we do. Okay, now I don't have to put the probe there. There's no need. But this is just an example of how we take uh, temperature readings. We don't use uh, you know, the plain old thermometers with a uh, display, everything, everything has to be logged and uh, this means that everything has to be connected to a PC. Doesn't so, the ambient temperature play a role here? Yeah, it plays a role. Uh, very good question, Eric. Thank you. Okay. It plays a role. This is why I have this stuff here <laughs> to check the ambient temperature. But we also have the big guy, the climate chamber. Exactly, that's what I asked. Yeah. Uh, where we run most tests. So you don't do this here. This was just an example. This is just an example. Uh, look, in the new lab, uh, where we will have full AC air condition systems, uh, actually climate control, we will be able to keep 25 degrees. So there is no need to do the GPU testing and uh, the GPU testing, okay, in the climate chamber for two reasons. It is very difficult for me to move all this stuff to install it in the climate chamber. And Build the second, second one. Yeah, uh, we bought this. We yeah, didn't, okay, uh, yeah, yeah. Build it. And secondly, uh, the climate chamber needs about uh, 5 to 10 kilowatt of power. How much is that in money? Approximately? A lot, a lot. A lot. Yeah, a lot. So imagine me running a GPU testing for a week or so into using the climate chamber. Only if it is a 4090, <laughs> it will go off the trouble. I will pay more in electricity. And here in Cyprus, uh, I believe that we have the most expensive electricity in the galaxy. <laughs> galaxy. Yeah. About 0 0.3 euros. Uh, per kilowatt hour. It's super expensive. Uh, this is why in the new lab we will install uh, systems which will produce uh, electricity. Solar the systems, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I believe we said enough. Do you mm -hmm. have anything else to add? Many, 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 many things, but they are yeah. not. They are not okay, relevant. Okay, yeah. In the next video. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye.